Um, Megan has asked me to talk a little bit about compliance as an issue. I know it is an issue to everyone. Um, my feeling about compliance is that ethical, comp ethical practice is compliant. Um, you have some procedures that you have to use, and they have to be there for the regulators who come in the door, or you theoretically think may come in the door at any minute. And the procedures uh, of how you're using social networking um, must be there, and maybe even an archiving system, if you're active in social networking, has to be there to track and keep a record of what you're doing. But the compliance piece of what we're doing is really not that unfamiliar. When you talk to people face to face, you don't usually have trouble with the compliance issues. You know how to talk to people in such a way that they are getting direct communication from you that is not fraudulent, that is not lying, that's not distorting your record or emphasizing it un unreasonably. What you're doing is you're just saying, I'm trying to be straight with you in the regulations and rules that, com that are so associated with this profession in such a way that you're not misled and you're able to decide for yourself and your family what's the best decision about how to meet your goals through these particular steps, some of which may be product selection. So in, in our case, um, you shouldn't be afraid of the compliance piece. Uh, it's, social networking is new to everybody. It's new to your compliance officers too. So what we are helping you do is get the kind of training that's always in a compliance envelope and always safe in the way to use these tools like Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and YouTube, but at the same time in such a way that it's going to be friendly to your compliance officer and their needs. So um, this piece of compliance is very important and it's scary because it's new territory, but when you think about it, again like we were talking earlier, it's an analog to your regular practice. Ethical practice is always compliant. And so as long as you're following the procedures and, and the checklists that are part of the way that you deal with regulators, you'll be fine.